In this video, we're going to be taking a quick look at the Libertas Armory Elf Scout Weapons Pack. We'll do a quick overview of what is included with the pack, and then we will jump into some tips and tricks so you can hit the ground running when you purchase this pack. You'll see here that I do have my Elf Scout set up. This is the costume pack that is sold separately. You can buy this either as a standalone pack, just as the costume, so look for the Libertas Armory Elf Scout female pack, or you can purchase everything as the bundle. So if you're interested in this weapons pack, I would highly recommend going with the bundle. You'll get the cool costume, and you'll also get this really cool exclusive vine tattoo that goes up and over the character, as well as some cool eye makeup and, and facial tattoos to really pull the whole character together. In my opinion, it's just a greater value altogether when you purchase everything at once. Diving into what is included with the pack, you do get the quiver, which you can see back here, as well as the weapons. Uh, you get the arrow, the ax, the knife, and the bow, as well as the sheath for the knife, and as well as the ax. These Props have mostly been attached to Spine 2 on the character, so this is how they'll be kind of set up right out of the box. I have the axe and the knife being attached to the quiver. They'll just be strapped to the back for high mobility. That's kind of the, the idea behind it all. The arrow is inside of the quiver as well, attached to the spine. Of course, all of these things can then just be reattached to the hand bones or wherever you decide to, to place them. Just wanted to give you a heads up of where they will start off right away. We also do have with this pack several materials that go along. Just like every Libertas Armory weapons pack, you do have this kind of step up story to accommodate an existing upgrade system or just give you some different options for some cool looks on your weaponry. You do get the common, which is what the character starts off with or what the base models will begin with. Yeah, it's much more of a light brown look with some natural accents. And then you jump into the Epic, which is a darker brown wood with some silver accents on it. Go into the Legendary, and you will see a black and gold theme, which I think looks really, really cool. Uh, very sleek and menacing. Then you also go, you jump into the Mythical Realm, which of course makes sense for an elf character. But this has much more of a gradient dark gray to, into black on the wood. And then you get some cool metallic green accents going up at vine work on the wood as well with mythical glow you do get the glowing blades on the weapons so the arrow the axe the knife and the bow these are cool little accents that you and you can dial in a little bit more as you see fit but really does sell that mythical feel for the character jumping into some tips and tricks we do have shape keys on the bow personally i think utilizing shape keys on bows is kind of the way to go instead of a bone system that you create a pre-existing animation going with a shape keys or morphs as they're called here gives you a little bit extra control you really dial in when the bow is drawn how long that takes you can really dial it into where the character's hand position is and then you can adjust for how fast it's released or just gives you a lot of options and control. So that's why I've set it up with shape keys. You do have the draw, which is set up for bringing this arrow to full draw on the bow. And then you do have fire, which if you animate that right after the draw, you know, and it fires, you give this a few animations where maybe you wobble it up and down just a little bit, you'll give that twang look to the bow and uh, look a little bit more realistic. So that's the, the two options there. But that's going to do it for a quick look at the Libertas Armory Elf Scout Weapons Pack. Hopefully you have a lot of fun with this pack and hopefully it brings you a lot of value. My name is Eric from Libertas Armory and we will see you in the next one.